Hello and welcome to Miss Charlotte Astrology. I'm Miss Charlotte, a full-time working astrologer, and on this YouTube channel, I analyze the astrological charts of public figures, very often celebrities. And today I am analyzing the synastry chart of Will Smith and Jada Pinkett because they have been in the news lately. This uh, massive solar eclipse in Libra has busted up their marriage a little bit, <laughs> more than it already has been. So uh, Jada is releasing a book um, or has released a book and she's doing the press rounds. She's been in several interviews where she talks about her marriage with him And she, she talks about how she, she, she went, she went to the Oscars last year with Will and she was so surprised that he referred to her as his wife, even they, even though they attended the, this very prestigious public event as a married couple, keep in mind they are still, they were still and are legally married. She was shocked that he referred to her as his wife in this public arena. Uh, on top of that, and we already knew this, but I guess she covers it more in her book, she had an affair with her child's best friend. So, yes, uh, Jada Pinkett, as fabulous, like, look at her. She's beautiful, iconic beauty, messy, messy Virgo. Mm, she's so pretty. She's lovely to look at. I, I like that's that's the thing. I like I know I should dislike Jada. I know I should. But she's so beautiful and she's perfect and seems so confident com confident and competent. <laughs> anyway, um guys, before I start the reading, I just want to let you know I have some courses available in uh in the description of this video. So if you're interested in learning some astrology from me if you like the way I do things on here yeah please purchase a little video that goes a long way to support me because I do this full time so also I have an Instagram that's also linked please check me out I'm pretty active on there although right now I am on a bit of a uh, a digital detox I'm doing this I'm just not checking my dms right now but you can actually follow me on there I'm pretty active all right uh let's get into it shall we um now the first thing that I that I thought was real cute and probably counts for them looking really good together as a couple, just superficially, let's just look at the superficial. The ascendant, which is your face, it's like your sword and your shield, it's your appearance, right? And how you look out into the world, right? Uh, his ascendant, Will is in blue, by the way. Will is in blue. His ascendant is in Gemini and Jade's ascendant is in Sagittarius. So they have an alignment of the ascendant and the descent see acdc acdc so right off the bat they look good together it's like um you know megan and harry they have opposite descendants so they look really really good together and the reason why is because you you outwardly are when your ascendant falls into someone's descendant you outwardly express the energies that the other person desires in a partnership so it's it's nice. It's just a nice century. However, now Will has Saturn. Is it Will? No, no, no. Yeah, Will has uh, Jada's Saturn on his ascendant. So Saturn is the planet of restriction and hard lessons and difficulty and karma. And when someone Saturn sits on the other person's ascendant, it it keeps him quiet. So he is when he's with her, uh, he has to stay quiet. He has to be restricted in his speech. He's got to present a very confident and well coiffed and styled, silent, strong, silent type of presence. And I know that his personality is very outgoing, it's very charming, it's very wacky. But when he's with her, he's a little bit, he's a, he's a bit more, well, well, he's more well behaved and he's quiet. That's what Saturn does on, on, on someone's ascendant, right? Even if they have it in their own chart, uh, they're going to have a more responsible, more, yeah, quiet demeanor. Like, a str it's like a strong quiet type presence uh but 
for for Jada. Jada gives him that. Jada keeps him keeps him in line. Fox uh, but keeps him in line. Now Jada has her Jupiter and Neptune on his descendant. So being together opens up doorways. Jupiter is the expansive planet. Uh, and so when that sits on someone's descendant, it's going to open up the seventh house of partnerships. So you're going to get more business deals. You're going to make new, more friends through that person. They're going to, it's going to be very, it's going to be very nice overall having Jupiter and having someone's Jupiter on that descent. And Jupiter is the husband energy. It's the marriage energy. And that's falling into his seventh house of partnership. It's great. Uh, now... Neptune is also here that governs Pisces, it's heaven and it's hell and it's all sorts of crazy. So that's falling into there as well. So and that's the planet that that's the secret enemies planet. So while she opens up a lot of doorways, I think um she might also be making some enemies. Um making enemies with people or at least um inviting inviting uh, inviting a messy energy into that that seventh house of partnerships he doesn't have any planets in there it's not that messy naturally i think when he's by himself he's he's fine but when he's with her she invites some problems uh i'm also wondering with her lilith and uranus in the 11th house if she does if she is difficult to be around if she's difficult to work with or she's because 11th house, that's a public house. That's a public house. It's like the networks. And she's got Lilith there, like, poisoning her networks. Although I do think she is very good at networking. She has a reputation. She has a reputation. I wouldn't go as far as to say that it smears his reputation. I think he is, even though there's been some sexist stuff on the internet calling him a simp. And I think he literally might be... Was he an abused child? And he's attracted to re a relationship. Uh, he's attracted to relationships that can at least feign stability. Like he can feign that. Um, even the feign stability, the, the fake stability. At least he's setting an example for others. You know, he wants to have a solid marriage. He w Or at least he wants to project that out into the world. See, it's possible. He wants... This is so sad, though. Uh, moon in conjunction with Neptune. Moon, like, there's some really sweet asteroids here. Ceres is nurturing. Juno is the wife and commitment. He really wants that, but he is imprisoned. He's imprisoned in this marriage that he so desperately wants to work. But the problem is, is that he might be stuck in this. It might be an emotionally abusive situation. Because he wasn't showing how to love properly and love with boundaries. And he was likely abandoned. Was he abandoned as a child? I know that The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is um, a very popular show. And it was based on, somewhat on his life. But was he actually abandoned? Or, or was he like he had a lot of poverty? He experienced a lot of poverty. Is that part of it? Because this conjunction with Moon and Neptune says that he didn't have... His mother was not well. Um, the family situation was not stable. I swear, I've heard him talk about how his dad, I think it was an Oprah, his dad showed him how to build a wall as perfectly as you can, right? It lay each brick and lay it nicely and as perfectly as you can and then eventually you can build a wall. I thought he had a really strong relationship with his dad. Or is it a lot more complex than that? I'm just not seeing a very happy childhood, and he really, really wants to please. He really, oof. And her part of fortune's there as well. Part of fortune's where you're successful. It falls into her 12th house of secret enemies, though. I think he's... What I'm getting here is that she might have him in lockdown of some kind. She holds a lot of his secrets. And maybe that's why she can get away with what she's getting away with talking talk him talking about him like this 
the word to me that came up was ransom or something. Is she holding him for ransom to him? <laughs> Not to anyone else, but yeah, holding him ransom. What information does she have on him? What information? He, I don't think he wants to give up. I don't think he wants to give up on this marriage. She somehow turns this mess into order. She can justify everything. I mean, Sun, Moon, and Mercury in Virgo on her midheaven. She wants fame. That's someone who desperately wants to be famous. That's even if um, like she desperately wants to be known. She des desperately wants to be seen. But the problem is, is that Will makes Will made her look good. Will doesn't have to try. Will has his Jupiter. And that's the expansive lucky planet, the husband planet, the marriage planet on her midheaven. Marriage makes her more famous. Marriage makes her more likable. The problem is that she looks like a sidekick and she doesn't like that. Remember, when you take his chart away, she's a Virgo stellium in the midheaven. She, that red table talk was a really good idea. Um, I know it's cancelled now, but the reason why that did so well is because she's a Virgo midheaven. Everybody wants to see her. Uh, give advice and to you know give instruction like it makes a lot of sense why the red table talk is so much better than anything she's ever done artistically and that's probably a format she'd be like having that show having some kind of talk show really works for her versus being an actress um the north node her sorry her south node sorry her south node of past life early life that's in leo which is very glamorous it's very you know i'm a star right show business but there's no placements here like there's nothing in in leo that would make this um you know nice for her like comfortable for her uh her placements are over here on the midheaven so she had a degree of fame beforehand but where is she going she's north node in aquarius that's the internet it's going viral that's uh political that's it's so much more like interesting and intellectual than the pretty Leo, I'm a superstar model energy. This is like the intellectual realm and her Mars is, she's got that Elon Musk North Node in Mars. I will conquer the world. But the thing is, what's this? Midheaven? Her husband's Midheaven is the springboard to launch her fame again? Oh! Being the main character means that she has to be the bad guy, then she'll do it. I don't think she'll perceive herself as the bad guy, uh, but the rest of the world w will. Like, um, yeah, North Node. N North Node is the soul's evolution. It's in the sign of Aquarius, which is a cold energy, an intellectual energy. It's like the network. It's talking to millions of people. It is a another one of those signs of... Uh, associated with fame it's in a conjunction with mars which is conquering which is winning which is being ruthless and what's that and starting wars on what his midheaven on his using his public face using will's um yeah using will's fame to get what she wants that's what i'm seeing here even if it means that she makes him look pathetic even if she has to beat him down, as long as she can finally be the main character in her own story. She is so sick of being, yeah, that sidekick. And his North Node, look at his North Node of Destiny. It's in Aries. He's going through his nodal return now. It's far away from all his Libra placements, far, far away. So this one's a bit painful. Chiron is here. Her, the only pl planet, or not some planet, it's an asteroid. The only thing that, she has in a conjunction with his north node is her chiron her pain all of that wow she really burdens him with her trauma and i'm sure she does like two traumatized people getting together it makes so much so much sense and his satin is here so he's going to go through his satin return really quickly this is not an easy e this is not an easy north node if you look down here where his south node is it's by his son, you know, his Venus and Mercury uh, are in Libra, you know, glory was 
glory and honor was his very early on in life he got famous quite young quite quickly but when you get into the north node the fame will still continue but it's it's painful. It's a public, it's, it's public disgrace. Doesn't mean he can't, uh, get it back at his, get, get respect back from the people. I do, like, I can see that happening. It's a very similar North Node to, um, Brendan Fraser. He'll get there. Um, but it's just painful. And look, if you put their charts together, they're kind of veering off in different directions. They start off together down here where all their placements are. Like, they're like twins. All this Virgo, all this Libra, a little bit of Scorpio on his end. Like, they're together in the beginning, but as you move up the chart, they veer apart. It's like... It's kind of sad. But she, yeah, she needs that fame. She desperately wants it. Oh, man. Um, they stay together because he's afraid that she'll let the cat out of the bag. <sighs> There's so many nasty things coming up about him and people give him a hard time. But I think that she has him on a very short leash. She has him under her thumb. All the, all the metaphors. And yeah, she what she is she's thinking I'm gonna finally get what I want out of this marriage, and I'm going to be the main character. She's just this is the thing. The whole reason why she's even famous in the first place is because she got with Will. That's is that ironic? Is that irony? You're so upset that you're not as famous as the man that you married, but he's the reason why you have it anyway. Marriage made her look good. I don't really... I, I, For both of their sake, I think... I, I hope that they can come to some kind of quick resolution to this marriage. Because it just does not seem like they've got that connection anymore. They certainly did when they were younger. Like, Venus conjunct Sun. You know, a Jupiter, a Jupiter conjunct Sun. You know jupiter conjunct moon like there was a lot of great connection early early on like there was an attraction there was a connection there was an agreement we like each other let's get together and have children and do this thing and we can become become those famous people in hollywood so yeah i could i could definitely see a strong connection early on but look at look at where it's going there's nothing warm and caring and or anything about this situation I think she might embarrass him a bit. Like, certainly now, certainly now, all the dirty laundering's being aired out. But even before then, she doesn't get along with people. Her Lilith falls into the same size as his Venus and her Venus. I think they both have a Venus in Libra. And Venus governs relationships. So when they're together, it's um, it's bad for, for their friendships. It's bad for, um, yeah, their personal connections. She kind of disgraces him a little bit. Mm. Anyway, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, I hope it made sense. <laughs> uh, and yeah, if you're interested in getting a reading, I also have 50% off, 50 off my recorded readings at the moment. And I do have those courses if you're interested in reading charts. And uh, thank you so much. It was a... Uh, it was fun doing this, but it's also kind of sad because I love Will and Jada or I loved them. And now I'm like, Bleh. anyway, bye guys. <laughs>